Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jared at Three Seas Recreation. I am so excited. December 16th, I am outside in a t-shirt in Western New York, giving you guys a brand new bike review. And my favorite model in the whole world, the Race Edition Two Strokes. And this one in particular is a 200. It is the first two stroke to come in. So we're doing our first Race Edition in general to come in. So we're doing a review on this bike. And because I have one, this is a 2022 200 race edition. I thought maybe we would do some comparisons on here shortly. So let's jump into the video. So this is the race edition for 2024. They have a whole new look for this year. They went with a blue mask. They've got all new hand guards. Let's kind of come in a little bit and look at these. I think we're gonna sell a lot of these to customers with uh, last year's model just because they want to have the latest and greatest. And I'll show you the mounting on them. So it's just a little bit of an updated, it's an undermount. I'd been using those up on top the last couple years, so I like the handguard. I think it's cool. It doesn't, maybe it doesn't come out quite as far, but I think it's still cool looking. I think we're gonna sell a lot. We got the blue front fender. We got the blue fork guards. So Beta did a lot of blue on this model. I think this is the most blue I've ever seen on a Beta motorcycle, because over here, not to make you guys dizzy, this is, in the past, this is about as much blue as they would do. They would just use their red shroud with some blue graphics on it. And they always traditionally kept either red or white in the front here. So that is a normal looking race edition uh, up until now. So I don't have a lot of updates on this bike, but let's jump right into the couple things I did notice right away. So I left the bar pad off because they changed this upper clamp. It's a, it's a different looking piece here. And you still do get the clamp or the bar pad. I just wanted to show you what the clamp looked like because I did notice that that was different. I'll zip tie that on here in a little bit. And the biggest change that everybody's probably wanting to know is this radiator design. So you can see that this is pushed in or dented, pre-dented from the factory. And I've got the steering lock in its standard position. I didn't change it yet. And that's hard to hold the gimbal in here. But look how much clearance we have. How exciting is that? So now you guys can take that jam nut off of there, run that screw all the way in, and I still think you're gonna be able to clear just fine. So we're gonna gain a ton of steering radius. A lot of guys have always wanted that. And then if you look on this side, this is the new cap. Well, I'm gonna call it the traditional cap. They went back to it. Then again on this side, if I can make my phone fit in here, look at all that extra room we have now. So the perfect example, there's that steering lock down there. We can take that jam nut out and I still think you're gonna have clearance. So the big question people have been asking me is can we retrofit this to the older style bike? And that's something that I have to do. I just have to do it. I don't wanna tell you wrong. But to me, all of the hoses come out the same and also it's the same frame. So I don't know why it wouldn't work. I'm just not gonna let you buy radiators yet until I know for sure. So here's the radiator that Beta has been using since 2020, the regular screw cap. And you'll see, oh good, he's got the jam nut still in there. So if I turn this handlebar all the way, I'm trying to fit my phone in here, sorry. So even with stock, we're already almost hitting the radiator. So we can't adjust that jam nut at all. So that's like one of the big things people have been wanting to see. There's a little bit more turning radius. Obviously people take their socket, the heat radiator up and they dent the radiator, trying to cheat that way and do it. Not the most, yeah, look at that. It's almost hitting and everything's in the stock position. So really cool for Beta to kind of recognize what customers want and implement it into the new bike. So some of the things that make a race edition the race edition, if you're in the showroom looking at a new Beta motorcycle, like, well, what's an RR and what's a race edition? Let's go over that. So on the race editions, you're gonna get KYB forks. You're gonna get a KYB rear shock. So even though they don't have any tags on them that say KYB, they are KYB pieces. And I don't know why Beta doesn't add the stickers because they should talk about that. A lot of people love the idea of the KYB and they should be proud of that. So I wish there was some stickers on there kind of pointing that out. You get the quick axle pull. So if you loosen your wheel nut on the other side, you can pull this right out after you loosen your jam nuts. You can pull it, it's a quick pull. You can pull the axle out easy. It comes with the black anodized aluminum foot pegs. A little bit wider than stock. Over the last couple years, the stock beta foot pegs have gotten wider on their own. So I like what they've done on the stock pegs, but they've kept their traditional black billet and we like that. You're gonna get a black foot brake and a black shifter. So that's kind of cool, kind of ties in with the engine cases. You get the billet red oil fill plug and you get the seat. Obviously it's got like the gripper pack in it here so you can do the time card, maybe more of a European thing. 
you get the new upgraded hand guards on this model and these are premix so normally the rr line is oil injected maybe eh, there's not really much outside for bikes yet but this is a premix bike it's a two and a half gallon tank so premix your gas dump it right in and run it there's no separate oil tank underneath the seat the race editions also come with that dual composite rear sprocket so it's aluminum inner inner with a steel outer and we love the beta chains they last forever you're not um not to bag the jap bikes but pretty much within 20 minutes of you riding your jap bike you're adjusting the chain and uh just buying a new one so those are a lot of the things that make a race edition a race edition compared to the standard rr are those things that you necessarily need to have a really good bike no not at all like yeah that's black this is a anodized dual composite rear sprocket that's a great feature kyb is a lot stiffer than the standard stuff so i don't know if that's always better for the customer either and a quick axle pull unless you're in a timed race that's really not all that important either so don't buy a race edition because of those things i don't know if it really makes a difference over the last couple of years beta is starting to do more with the motor so between an RR and a race edition, there are some differences between the cylinder and head. So a little more power out of the race edition models, which I think is cool. They're kind of separating that a little bit. So if you're like a double A guy and you're trying to get every little ounce of power, beta is giving you that in the race package. If we ordered you a cylinder and a head, we'd have to make sure we order the right one for the exact model. In the past, like up in 2020, I could just order you a 300 cylinder. It would fit any 2020. That is not true anymore. We have to make sure we know the race edition versus rr model the handlebars are pretty simple and straightforward they haven't changed that at all it's actually been like this for a really long time so we got our left hand control high beam low beam got the horn button left turn signal right turn signal so keep in mind these bikes come pre-wired for turn signals in fact that's a street legal two-stroke over there that one's got the street title with it we've got the full display up here um miles per hour odometer the clock is wrong and you can kind of toggle through trip meter, hour meter, and back to odometer. And the right hand side, we got the kill switch, start button, and throttle. And then obviously front brake and clutch over here. So handlebar layout has been the same for quite a long time with the beta stuff. Nothing different there. And then down here, we have the dual ignition map. So when the bike is running, I'll start it for you here in a minute. When we start this, the LED is going to be either underneath the rain cloud or the sunshine, and that's what map you're in. So let's have a look underneath the seat. The seat comes off with a push of a button. We just push the side here, pull the seat up and off. And then this is our side panel. This comes off, you just pull the two tabs out on the back side, and it comes right off on the front. And this is where it differs from the oil injected model. So in the oil injected model, you got a tank coming out of here with a cap. Obviously, race edition, we don't have that. So we're left with just our battery starter solenoid and then this is just our air box it's really easy to get to the air filter ecu is up underneath it here so really clean air box and easy to use beta did add a lot more seat foam for 2024 on all their models we noticed it right away on the rr models and they started coming in instead of the seat going flat across when it hits the blue it actually goes up a little bit higher and there's a lot more foam in there so i think probably 10 percent of the customers won't have to buy a seat concepts or gut seat or enduro engineering they're gonna be pretty happy with that seat i think compared to the old race editions where these seats were just hard as rocks like there's really no no give there that was always a complaint when people are buying the beta motorcycles one beautiful thing on the beta motorcycles is the majority of the lineup we can still add a kickstarter so this customer added this on the 2022 it's such a huge feature if you're in the back side of a mountain pass and you're battery goes your starter relay fails anything fails we can still add that kickstart kit i just love the simplicity of a beta two-stroke nothing better than a carbureted two-stroke very very easy to maintain it's premix. if you have to rebuild the top end it's like three bolts to get the seat off gas tank and you can literally get to the top end in minutes we really appreciate the simplicity of the two strokes so last thing we'll touch on real quick is just the msrp these bikes come in at $97.99 for a 200 two-stroke race edition for 2024, plus freight. Our shop only charges freight. I'm not going to talk about what other shops charge or their fee structure. That's okay. That's what they want to do. I do have five betas leaving today, though, so that's pretty cool. Again, we're three seas recreation in western New York. We have a lot to get ready for the day, so I just wanted to give you a quick walk around. This bike might be leaving, so 
I wanted to shoot out this morning right away and get this video done, so enjoy the ride and we'll see you on the trail. I was about to take the bike off the stand. I almost forgot to start this thing for you guys. So um, with it being carbureted, it does have the choke down here. I don't know if it's gonna need it. The bike's been inside all day, so, or all, all night. When you pull up on the choke, it's on. And this is our fuel shut off. We have reserve off and on. We'll even reserve, because I did not throw a ton of gas in it. Just enough to do a video. And uh, yeah, we'll hit the button here. It starts so easy. These two strokes are so awesome. Like, how fast is that? If you're in the starting line, you see the flagger guy up there. You're like, you're already like clicked into second. That's cheating. It's so awesome. There's your tail light. And then on the front, you got that high beam and low beam. Easy to see. Motor's absolutely not warmed up yet. It's uh, actually, it was inside all night, so it's not too bad. Man, these little two strokes run good. I am so excited about these things. If you guys have not tried to bait a two stroke, you have to. They are just a riot to ride. They're so torquey compared to what you would expect out of these little things. So again, thank you guys. Jared at Three Seas Recreation. Hope you enjoy the ride and we'll see you on the trail.